basically I took this blouse or men's shirt it, it can pretty much apply to like a shirt oversized um, any item that you have that you want to add an elastic hem that's pretty much what this tutorial is about showing you guys how to create a simple elastic hem starting off you're gonna need a marking tool this can be either an erasable marking tool a chalk pencil pen honestly as long as it's not a sharpie don't use it so wear your men's shirt backwards like reverse side out and then mark it where you want to place your elastic band don't make it complicated on yourself just wear it and create the line so you know exactly where you want it to land and then once you take it off refine the line and make it much more even so what i did is that i took my ruler and the marking tool and measured the height of each line so it can be an even cut so as you see here where i have my line it is six inches so i made sure on the other side is also six inches so i can cut a straight line and it's even now though before you cut this is super important you have to add a seam allowance without a seam allowance this is not going to fit you correctly and it's going to land in the wrong place so i am using a seam allowance of 0.5 that is about a centimeter and a half you can make the seam allowance an inch if you wanted to have a nice finish personally because this is for my personal use i don't need it to have a clean finish so i'm just creating a seam allowance of 0.5 and that is enough for me to start cutting now once i start cutting i just like follow this line and it's that simple i pull it a little bit just to make sure that it's straight by the way i ironed my shirt that's why it's nice and flat please make sure to iron before you cut if it's a simple cotton t-shirt you might not need to do this something else that i want to show you to keep in mind is that the button you might not want the button there i didn't mind you can take the button off and it won't be in your way as long as it's the, the machine doesn't hit it so now we're gonna iron so you want to make sure you iron before you insert the elastic ironing is so important like i can't even emphasize this is like pre-workout before you hit that treadmill treadmill um you prep right you do a little bit of like prep work this is the same thing you iron so ironing is your prep work so so then i went ahead and machine sewn and this is the finish that i mean like it's gonna have that raw finish if you don't want it add a seam allowance of an inch and fold twice but i don't mind this finish so now is the elastic so here's a trick guys there's no math involved it's all testing it in you so what i did was i took my elastic band and i placed it around my waist where i wanted to land tightness decide if you want it to be very tight or a little bit loose then mark it with a pen pencil ironing like sharpie in this oh no 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 never use sharpie and then add a seam allowance of 0.5 and cut there you have your elastic no math involved and now at the very ends of each elastic add a safety pin so the safety pin is just going to help you like insert the elastic inside of like the seam opening that you have here and then you want to start seeing this ruche effect so what I, my technique is that i hold it pull 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 push the fabric and this way i just like get it through the other side and as you can see the f it's starting to like pull and create the like that ruche elastic effect and that's what you want to see if you have any problems as you do this part write in the comments below you guys if any any troubleshooting happens or you need any troubleshooting just write in the comments i'll answer as soon as i can to help you and then last step is to close it once you get it to the other side so once you get the elastic on each side you just want to close it like i said i kept my button and i'm just going to close it on each side here so then and as and then i noticed this is something else very important if the elastic so i decided that it was way too loose for how i wanted to fit so i just kept pulling it and you are done that is the simple elastic hem technique like it just makes it much more like like it's not just an ordinary blouse i feel like with this upcycle it just gives it a nice finish okay i hope you have found this tutorial super easy to follow super quick and easy if you like have any questions make sure to write down write them down in the comments or dm me on my instagram at kara styles where you can see more of my upcycling low waist living and pretty much 
all around sustainable lifestyle. 